Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we are talking about the latest news from Battlestate Games, Nikita, and Escape from Tarkov itself, and that is regarding Twitch drops. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more PvE content. It's going to be a relatively short video here today because... BSG was a little short with the amount of info they wanted to give us regarding the announcement of Twitch drops. So when it comes to the exact tweet, I will throw it on screen for you guys right now. And the only reason I'm actually putting the tweet on screen is so you can see the caption saying summer Twitch drops event coming soon. So this is very cryptic as most things with BSG are they would not give us a date because if they would give us a date for the drops, that would instantly let us know that the game would wipe a week before those drops on the closest Thursday to a week before. So right now it is August 8th. It's currently a Thursday as we're talking about this and recording it and uploading it. I do not think we're going to get wiped on the 15th. I think that date of the 23rd is becoming more and more likely. I feel like if we were going to announce drops like this, that if it was a week away, I think we would have actually put a date here. I think they would have let us know that, for example, Twitch drops would have been the 16th through the 19th, something like that, and the wipe be on the 15th. That's what I would think, at least in my head. Now, they have done in the past where the drops were a week after the wipe. It wasn't immediately after the wipe. So maybe they still wipe the game on the 15th and drops will start on the 22nd. We don't know. But it's a little concerning that they didn't put the date here. Obviously, it says summer. We're already in August, man. Like, we don't really have much summer left. We know the wipe's coming. We know the patch is coming this month. But this concerns me. I feel like right now, the state of the game, the state of the community, I feel like we need to see this patch on the 15th at the latest. I feel like a lot of people are starting to get really antsy and uh, just kind of genuinely getting upset that the game isn't wiping. And this happens every single time a major patch is right around the door. All of us are impatient as hell. All of us want the new content. We want to go M60 Burr on Factory. We want to do all this fun stuff, but we can't. And it's we all know it's one click of a button for BSG, but it just is what it is. So this is all I really have for you today talking about the Twitch drops. One other thing that I actually would like to see with these drops is the old style of drops. I don't like how Twitch drops are anymore, personally. You know, you have to watch for, I think for Tarkov, it's actually pretty lengthy, but, you know, one, two, three, four hours to get a drop every single time. Then you have the common drops, the uncommon drops, and the legendary drops. I don't really like that system, man. It really makes the viewers just grind it out. And a lot of people just throw a second tab on. They they don't even watch it. And they have an auto claimer for Twitch and everything like that. But, you know, I like that old style back in like, what, 12-6, 12-12 range where it's a random chance and you get juice. Like, you get decent items. Now it's, you know, like we get a pack of sodium or something for watching for an hour. Like, I don't really think any of us want that. You know what I mean? I think we want the juice. We want some good drops. We want those GPUs. We want those Bitcoins. We want any cases, anything like that. We want that stuff. And if it's random, it's more fun. If it's random, you know, it's like, oh, when am I going to get my first one? When am I going to get my first one? When am I going to get my second one after I get my first one, you know? And at the same time, you're still watching your favorite streamers, man. It's a win-win. So that's just my take on it. Definitely. I already know people won't agree with that. I just like being surprised. That's just me. Um, the way Twitch drops work now is fine. I just don't like the common, uncommon, rare, and legendary part about it. I just wish all the drops would be good. Why even give us any common drops? Just make all the drops fun, enjoyable, and really incentivize viewers to actually view the streams. So that's all I have for you today. Twitch drops news. Uh, there are going to be uh, one video releasing tonight. And I think the next uh, video for tomorrow is already done as well. So uh, I got some content on the way for you guys. Uh, for anybody wondering where Hardcore's at and stuff, uh, I've actually been taking a slight break from Escape from Tarkov, playing some other games on the new PC here. I will be back to it in no time once the new patch drops. But I just figured right now is probably the best time if I was going to take, you know, like a week off of doing the third video a day. Uh, this would probably be the best time for me to do it, just to kind of chill, relax, and, uh, you know, hit the content strong when point fifteen comes out. So that's my excuse. I probably will upload a couple episodes of Hardcore here in the next few days. I do. I am itching 
to play a little bit more. So, uh, obviously, it's not going anywhere, but just been taking a slight break from it. Appreciate you guys so much. Leave that like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out.